Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for joining. Yeah, the media, they're all out here. It's a circus, okay? I tell them all just to calm down. They're asking me questions at front and centre. Okay, just sit down and just be quiet while I talk. Now, uh, I do have a big announcement to make this uh, today. Actually, I've got a few announcements. There are so many. Um, uh, today's show is not going to be a, a fun packed show, unfortunately. So, um, if you're after a bit of fun, uh, maybe today's show is not for you, okay? Because today I'm going to be serious. And, um, and, and I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a, a, a long show today. And I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> it's all about me today. Just calm it down, okay? I'm going to talk about myself. I'm not going to talk. It's not like I'm going to boast about myself. I'm going to tell you my background, all right? What I am, where I come from, and how I got here, and um, uh, and how I started. Uh, this is uh, a story about the Scott Father and the beginning. Now, before I start the story, um, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we've hit the 2,500 mark subscribers. I can't believe it. In one year, we've done this. So this is all because of you, uh, and I just want to say thank you. To uh, everyone out there that that supported supported me through my journey, um, although last year was much of a journey, but I just want to say thank you. Now, uh, how do I start? Okay, um, I'm going to start with my dad. Uh, my dad, and uh, this is how it all started. Okay, uh, my dad, he's uh, 90 years old. Okay, and um, he's been in aged care. Uh, for the last year or so, all well, last year, and just just prior to that, and, and I was very close to my dad. Okay, and um, uh, my dad at age ninety, he couldn't walk anymore. Okay, so he couldn't go to the toilet. So I mean, I would love to have taken care of him, but I couldn't. I couldn't carry him to the toilet. Uh, so he needed uh, to use these um, equipments just to go to the toilet. So he was in aged care. Now uh, I. I spoke to my dad every day, um, so I visited him, I couldn't visit him every day, but I visited him as often as I could, I wish I didn't, I wish I visited him more, but I didn't, okay, but um, uh, what happened was, when he's in aged care, he's old, and he's lonely, okay, and um, he has no one uh, at aged care, uh, I mean, he speak, he, he doesn't even speak proper English, okay, and um, the only thing he has is a television, and and I and I said to him, uh, well, he said to me, he said, I'm really bored. Oh, okay, I've got nothing to do. Okay, I said, don't worry, I'm gonna look after you. I said, I'm gonna create a YouTube channel. Okay, just so you can watch me, <laughs> and, um, and so I did. I created, um, and and my dad was a big fan of the Godfather. Uh, uh, he loved the Godfather. So I created the Scott Father, and I actually did that <laughs> for my dad. <laughs> Would you believe this? I didn't go out and do this. Um, it was it was a, f a, f a thought up thing just for my dad. Okay, so I created the Scott Father. Now um, I, he said to me, um, "Please uh, post every day, okay?" Because um, he said, "Even if I can't see you, at least I can watch you and hear your voice." 24-7, okay, I said, I promised him, I said, I will, hence, you'll see, uh, last year, I had two or three videos every day, non-stop, and, um, and I did this for three months straight, every day, two or three videos, uh, I did this for my viewers as well, because I sort of started enjoying, I didn't know I was going to enjoy doing, um, uh, this channel, so I, I did it for my viewers, but I mainly did it for my dad, now, in January, um, as I was speaking, because my dad, he knew nothing about football, okay? I mean, he doesn't even know what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm, when I'm the Scott father. But in January, uh, I said to my dad, I said, because he knew I came fourth flash the year before, okay? And he, so he knew I was, you know, half decent. But I said to my dad, uh, this year, okay, I promise you, uh, I'm going to get a little expert title, and I'm, I'm going to dedicate this to you, okay? I, I just want a little, you know, a little... Uh, expert, I'm going to show it to you, Dad, okay? And um, and he said, I can't wait to see it. So I spoke to Al, okay, Al Payton, and, and, I, and I asked him, is there any chance 
I can get this expert title. What do I need to do? <laughs> okay, I mean, I came fourth. I know the first place gets it, but I came fourth. So I was close. I was running first for a while. Uh, but it didn't make me eligible to get it. And um, and, I've, and and I I showed Al Payton the, um, our, the Richmond Forum that I run. Uh, and I've been running for seven years. And, and he was quite impressed. Okay, and um, and he said, I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise you anything, okay? Uh, which is fair enough. I wasn't expecting it. So that was the conversation. And that was it. That was it okay? And, and then we moved on. So I told my dad, I might get I, I said, I, I sent in a request, Dad, but I don't know if I'll get it or not, okay? Anyway, uh, January 31st. Uh, my dad passed away. Sorry, I didn't think I'd get emotional, okay, but um, it's bringing back memories. But um, uh, my dad passed away on the 31st of Jan, and um, uh, I promised him that I was going to make these videos. Uh, so even though on that day uh, we were mourning my dad, I still made videos that day, on the, the day my dad, uh, my dad passed away. And if you go back to the 31st of January, you'll see that there were videos posted that day. I did that in memory of my dad. Um, the following day, because in our tradition, uh, we bury our um, uh, deceased the next day. The following day, I'm going to bury, uh, we're going to bury my dad, my partner. Uh, she's in the hospital fighting for her life. She has cancer. So I've got my dad's f funeral got my partner in the hospital, okay, and um, fighting for her life. And I've got to make videos because I promised my dad. And um, and I've got um, my partner's child, and um, he's autistic. Uh, he only trusts me. Uh, he, he, he only, he's only close to me. There's no one else for him to take care of him. So I've got to take care of him as well. So anyway, uh, we did all that, okay? So... Um, um, my partner, luckily, uh, she's, she had the operation. Uh, she had a, a breast removed, okay, and but she's fine. Uh, she's healthy. I uh, love her to death, and um, and she's doing well. Uh, so and we and we buried, and my father got buried. So we continued doing this uh, my videos, okay, which now goes on to my next point. Uh, my background, uh, my Twitter handle is uh, Magic Moments. Uh, the reason I have named myself Magic Moments was because I had a business uh, and it was called Magic Moments Video uh, and that was virtually all I did all my life. Uh, I was a cinematographer and, uh, and I was mainly doing wedding videos <laughs> and um, so I was always there for people's happiest day of their lives, okay? So uh, hence, I'm always in a good mood because I've always seen people happy and I'll try to make people happy. And um, w with Twitter, uh, even though I had this handle, I'd never been on Twitter in my life, okay? I didn't know what Twitter was, okay? I, I've even got other accounts. That I've never used a LinkedIn or whatever. I don't use any of these things, okay? So um, my, my partner just created all these accounts for me and said, that you, you need social media, okay? And, and um, so I, had, she, I didn't even have Facebook back then, okay? So she created a Facebook account and all these accounts for me. And I don't know what she was doing, okay? So uh, anyway, I had all these accounts. So I ended up spending a lot of my time on Facebook, okay? So, um, and here you can see I ran the Richmond Tigers Super Coach page. And um, it's an exclusive page. Uh, we, only, we only accept good people in here. And um, everyone here is my friend. Uh, or we, or we, even, we have new members come every once a maybe four or five new members a year, because we don't take too many. Uh, we, we go for quality over quantity, so we want to keep it as small as possible, so we keep the banter as high as possible. I mean, we have our own leagues, as you can see. We've got Champions League, Super League, a division. We have actually had 10 divisions. I've been lazy. I haven't done the other two yet. But um, we have a, we have, it's full, it's a relegation promotion system, so it's a lot of fun. All right, so, and I spent a lot of my time, in, well, I did spend a lot of my time in here. I try still to spend some time in here. So for seven years, this has been my life, okay? Now, besides this page, uh, there's another page. Now, this is Serious Super Coaches. 
you know, why am I showing you this, you may ask, okay? Because, again, um, this, this is run by admin uh, that take no crap, okay? Uh, they are they are what you call admin, okay? So there are no trolls in here. Uh, so I've enjoyed uh, a troll-free environment all my life, okay? I mean, you can imagine, I've done weddings. There are no trolls at weddings, okay? So I've done weddings for 30 or 40 years. Um, then I go onto my own super coach page. There's no trolls in there because we just get rid of them, okay? I come into serious super coaches. There's no trolls in here. So I've enjoyed, you could say I've been spoiled, if you want to say it that way. Uh, so I've had the best of life, you can almost say. Now, I'm not young, okay? Uh, like, uh, my dad's 90 or passed away at 90. So you can imagine how old I am. Okay, so he didn't have me when he was, um, when he was, tw uh, well, <laughs> he didn't have me when he was 70, put it that way, okay? So um, I'm, I'm not as young as most of you. Uh, so when you get a bit older, uh, you get a bit more sensitive, okay? Uh, you can say trolls, don't worry about them, you know? Uh, they, they're, they're harmless, but they're not, okay? Uh, they do affect me, Um you can say, you can say, it's easy to say, I can say to you, okay, don't worry about them, but you know what, it actually affects you, okay, and and they have affected me uh, in a big way. Now, I come onto Twitter, uh, I don't know anyone, okay, uh, and luckily, uh, there's a few people that I speak to, uh, I saw JP, okay, and there's a guy called Braden, okay, and um, speaking to, because I followed him from Facebook, <laughs> he went, I saw him on Twitter, I go, what's Brayden doing here, must, this place must be good, and then I see him chatting away, so I started to join in the conversation, and before I know it, um, su Super Coach, or Super Couch Potato, uh, starts putting a little tweet out saying, you got to follow the Scott Father, and then, I mean, the name Scott Father might have sounded appealing to some people, uh, then all of a sudden, um, people started following me, all right, I don't, I don't know much about Twitter, all right, back then, and before I know it, I've got 3,000 followers now, <laughs> this is incredible, okay, I wasn't expecting this, trust me, I, I'm not here, I was never expecting fame or, or popularity, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not going for a beauty contest, have a look at my face, just come down, okay, but uh, it is what it is, now, being brought up from Facebook, where I'd never been trolled, to coming into Twitter, uh, where I didn't get trolled the first year, okay, because um, I wasn't popular, okay, no one knew me, so the first year, I, I'm, en I'm enjoying Twitter, I'm actually uh, showing how I'm running, and, and people are enjoying my journey through the 2022 season, where, where I'm competing with uh, JP for the first spots, and um, and, um, and people are enjoying my journey, they're actually encouraging me, they're jumping on, and I'm actually loving life, <laughs> this is fun, okay, and I'm loving it, anyway, then we get to uh, last year, and I'm still loving life, okay, I've just created my channel, people are, uh, uh, well, at the start, they didn't really like it, but then um, uh, uh, Super Coach Edge and Tim Mitchell, they said, just continue, look, it, this, this stuff is good, they'll, they'll like it, so I continued, and, and it, luckily for me, it became, my channel became popular, okay, some people hate it, okay, it's one of those love-hate relationships, you either hate it or you don't, okay, or you like it, uh, it's because it's different, uh, I grew up following Jock Reynolds, and if you can remember the, the crouching one, okay, and and I love that show. Uh, it had entertainment, and and I found that even though a lot of the pot, uh, YouTube channels these days uh, they have um, a lot of information, uh, I found that there wasn't much uh, entertainment to make me laugh. Okay, I wanted I wanted something just to to log into just to make me laugh. I thought, why don't I just create one? Okay, so I did, and um, so and and. There are people that, that, like I said, they enjoy it and they don't enjoy it. But getting back to Twitter, and getting back to what I was going to first start with, my announcement, uh, and what I, what I promised to my dad, which was the, the title of expert, um, I'd forgotten all about it, okay? Because um, it was just a, a conversation I had with Al a long time ago. Uh, and now time has passed. But in between this time... Uh, obviously, uh, Al has seen um, the rise of the Scott Father, okay? Now, everyone's talking to me. Everyone's asking me questions. I I'm helping out people. I'm offering advice. And and I have to say, I love doing that. 
I always tell don't take my advice, but they don't listen. Some people do, some people don't take it, but it doesn't mean my advice is right. But I just love giving advice. If they ask me, I give it. And um, so, and obviously Al had seen this, and he's seen the popularity, so he, he made me an expert, okay? Now, I didn't know what this meant. I mean, I didn't know what expert means, but I didn't know what comes with it, okay? I wasn't expecting what was what was to come next. Um, the day I got that expert rating, uh, which unfortunately uh, my dad couldn't get to see, things changed. Uh, my experience with Supercoach and people in general it just changed. I don't know what happened. It, it's like a switch. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, people are talking to me nice and friendly and I'm, I'm enjoying life. Then all of a sudden, people are turning against me. Okay, uh, They say, you don't deserve expert. You shouldn't be expert. Um, this is back in 20 last year. Uh and I'm getting a, tr- I'm getting a ton of this. Like, I mean, I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Like I said, I've come from, from back back where I've never been trolled before. I don't, know, I didn't, I don't even know why people troll. I mean, I, I, I my, my, uh, my saying is, if you have got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Okay, just let it go. Uh, what's it to you? Okay, what's another person's happiness to you? Anyway, uh, I hated it. Okay, I've got an expert. Uh, which I didn't, which I wanted. The title, I no longer wanted it anymore. Uh, it it was um, it was a burden. Uh, people turned against me. Uh, they 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 literally the hate that I got, the hate the hate messages. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I couldn't work it out. Well, w- I'm just wondering, does everyone else get these messages when they become an expert, or is it just me? Uh, well, what did I do to earn all this hate? And then the hate continued. It went on to um, chat rooms. Uh, this is after I got the expert. Before I got the expert, the chat rooms loved me, okay? Uh, they were just talking about me. They loved me. As soon as I got the expert title, everyone hated me. And, and, and I regretted asking for this expert title, okay? But it was something that I was going to dedicate to my dad. Uh, so, and it's something that I worked really hard for. But at the end of the day, I've decided uh, that I can no longer t- bear the, uh, this expert title um, because does this expert title make me a better person? No, okay? I'm not going to change. I'm not, it doesn't make me any better because I have an expert title. So what does it do for me? It does nothing for me, okay? The only thing it does, I mean, I don't have an ego. I don't care if I'm, if I'm ranked the best in the world. I mean, yeah, I've got my little stats up here, top one percent in Supercoach, uh, twenty six. I don't really care. Okay, BBL rank four. I don't even know why I write all this stuff. I don't really care about it. I don't have an ego issue. Okay, I just put this down here just to show because I I didn't have all this. I put it down here because of the trolls. Uh, because the trolls were saying, "Oh, you're 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 a one hit wonder. You're hopeless." So I went and showed my record. Uh, but again, I shouldn't have. Uh, listen to them, but I did. Uh, I don't know why. I, like I said, I'm not young. I'm not used to this new internet age. So it sort of took me off guard. But this year, I was prepared. <laughs> and, and I've come out fighting. You, you'll see me coming out swinging. Anyone has a go on me, I'm swinging back. I'm actually chasing them. I go to their channels, to their, to, to their YouTube channels, and I, and I chase them now. If you, if you want to um uh, bully me, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come after you running. Um, so... Uh, now I've, I've uh, understood what, but what bullying is, that's fine. Go ahead, bully me. <laughs> uh, I do care, okay, but I'm going to come after you. And, and this year, unlike last year, I've got support. I've got people fighting for me. Uh, and I'm so proud of the people that have come up last week and this week and that have stuck for me. Um, that support meant a lot. Because last year I didn't have that, okay? Last year I actually had, uh, I think, one or two people, and there wasn't many uh, that were supporting me. So it was really tough. But this year I've had those, a much stronger support, and it was much easier to deal with these trolls. So I just want to say thank you to those people that that, that um, supported me against these trolls. And um, I just want to say thank you to Al, 
uh, from Supercoach. They gave me the honour of having that expert title for that one year. Uh, I, I've honoured that for my dad, but I can't take it anymore. Uh, so I, I've passed on, I've made an announcement, and I said I'm officially going to um, give up my expert title. I don't want it, okay? It's it's done me no good. It's it's done more harm than any good. So unfortunately, uh, I can't... We, I can't play in everyone's leagues, which which um, I know some of you were looking forward to. I mean, not everyone wants to play in my league, but some people were looking forward to adding me to their league. So unfortunately, uh, that's not going to be possible this year. Now, last night, um, we, I had a meeting with George and JD, okay? And um, uh, they had to come to St Albans, uh, into a rough area, and I said, "Just, just come down. Uh, it's you'll be okay." Uh, and um, so, uh, George rocked up um, in his Monaro, okay. And I told him, "Just look, park the car in the garage, okay, next next to my Ferrari. Just come down." So he parked his um, Monaro next to my Ferrari. Uh, although um, he did say that the Ferrari didn't look like a Ferrari, he said that looks like a Datsun. And I said, "Yeah, it's a Datsun Sunny, but it's going to become a Ferrari soon." I'm working on it. Anyway, so I sat down with George, and then JD rocked up, came in a limo, <laughs> okay, because um, uh, he didn't trust uh, the neighbourhood. He didn't want to leave his car there in case, it, in case the wheels came off. So um, he came in in a limo, I agreed with him. We sat down, we had a chat, and um, uh, we had a long conversation uh, of how to clean up super coach trolls, okay. Um, because you can't clean them all up. I mean, the people are human. You can't, you can't, you can't eliminate all the trolls, all right. But you can help a way to sort of stop a bit of it. If you can stop fifty percent of it, um, it goes a long way to furthering. And then eventually, people will understand that trolling is no good. Okay. So uh, they have come up. We sort of all three of us have come up with, with a few solutions. And that you'll find that in some of the chat rooms now, you'll see that um, trolling is no longer allowed. And um, and they're going to start punishing people or banning people that decide to take personal attacks uh, on others. Uh, because uh, personal attacks uh, cause huge harm. Uh, someone very close to me last year uh, uh, committed suicide from, from people that trolled him. Just, it, it was work bullying, okay. It was something so so simple, so so. It was it was virtually nothing. It was over a cigarette, okay. He got trolled over a cigarette, committed suicide. Uh, luckily, that person we uh, we saved the person's life. Um, vomited in the in the ambulance, but after that day, I said, uh, I'm I'm going to um, if I see a troll or or a bully out there, I'm going to attack him. Uh, I'm not going to let any bully get away with it with anything anymore. I'm going to embarrass them. I'm going to name and shame them from now on. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining. And let's hope our super coach community is no longer toxic. Let's hope we can build a super coach community that everyone just shares ideas and has fun. Fun banter. That's what it's about. Jealousy, uh, name calling. Just let it go. Uh, grow up. You are human. You gotta act like a human, okay? Not like an animal, okay? Act human being, okay? And just come down. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Thank you for joining, and remember one thing: it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now. That's all, folks.